Hi, Cynthia, welcome. And um, the floor is yours. So I should say, this is 35 year retrospective of Deborah. And there are 35 artworks in the show. And five of them uh, in the curation. Uh, we, are, we are making donations when we sell uh, to um, a fund. And it's just a, you know, again, a, a, you know, a, a circle, a continuous uh, relationship. So it makes sense because, uh, and, and, and then I'll tell a little story about some of the works, maybe when I go Please. into the, to the yeah, other room. I think let's, let's introduce now Deborah's work. Um, I would love to, you know, before we walk to Deborah where she is, would love if you could introduce us how you met Deborah, you know, what was your relationship and then we can look at this fun, fantastic pop work that she does. So if you can give us an introduction to her before we meet her in person and show us a little bit around what you have. Sure. I would, I would be delighted to do that. Well, Deborah and I met um, a little over 10 years ago when she phoned me one day and just said, Hi, this is Deborah's party, and um, you are going to represent me. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Okay. Oh, who are you? And and literally, she she said, "Please come for tea tomorrow." I did. I drove up. I, I couldn't. I walked in her studio, and I was just, I was just floored. Um, I just couldn't believe that I hadn't known her. But I, I hadn't known her. But I knew vaguely of her images, if that makes any mm -hmm. sense, because she had by that point she had already started her publishing. So I kind of was aware of her, but not her as an artist. And, and we just started to work together. And I started to show her at art fairs and in my home gallery. And then in the, in, at, at the time, Hook Street was where I used to do all my um, London programming. And we did two wonderful shows there. And we, with the, we also had um, uh, the assistance of the, the great... Uh, Estelle Lovett, mm -hmm. who's a really... Who oh, I believe is online. Artist. Yeah. So so that was, it was just, um, a, I think it was like a match made in heaven. I, I, I'm you know, very American, effervescent, and, you know, incredibly enthusiastic and passionate. And, and, and Deborah is very methodical. And, and she just gets on with her work and paints these just incredible, incredible. narrative and, and positive and um, you know, incredible paintings. And I'll let her talk a little bit about, you know, how she how she started, what her inspiration was for her, her time with, with Disney. But um, I just have to say that it has been such an incredible working relationship and the response that we've had of her, for her work wherever we go. It's just been, you know, it's just been incredible. Uh, we have collectors. I don't know. I, I think we have collectors in probably every continent um, of her work, and you know, her her publishing really is, you know, has made her maybe more her images notoriety, notoriety of her images, um, but then her art practice, you know, it's 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 really serious. I think, and on the cover is Shush, and. Um, so in this retrospective, one of the, the really amazing um, things about it is that Deborah is offering to the marketplace some of her original pieces that she that has that she has never offered. So she Deborah does um, original paintings mm -hmm. uh, on both on wood and on paper. So if I maybe can I yeah, point out please. things we have now, if that's okay. So, for instance, we, we're, um, I'm in front of the very iconic Bing Bong, yeah. which is very special for your, 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 your viewers to see this because people might have seen the, the limited edition silk screen of Bing Bong that she has done, but very rarely has anyone seen uh, the original. So this is the original painting. So I'm going to put it on, on board. It's fantastic. And next to, you know, it's, and, and next to it is a a very cute little original painting. So she does also do smaller paintings. Mm -hmm. And this, um, the one next to it hasn't been published yet. And it's called Femme Fatale. So that will have a different price point. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I loved the, the way we, we curated that. 
And then if I can go to... We follow you. We love being in your home, Cynthia. My crazy home, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's fun. It's a little bit okay. Um, so I'm in front of, uh, what do you, what did you say? Mm -hmm. Which is actually in her well. And I, I love the, you know, the blonde hair, the red lipstick, the retro phone, and the, so, the title of this is Gossip. Mm -hmm. And, and it, the, again, the contrast in this, in, you know, in her work, this is a limited edition silkscreen print. Okay. Of only 10. And the original of that, which was that big, uh, sold, um, I think it sold in 2016 for, um, I think it was about $50,000. Mm -hmm. So the, um, it, and that's, so that's kind of the, a uh, little bit of the journey. And then may I point out the Save the Day, which is next to it. Yes, which that's we love. Because some of your, yeah, because also some of your Bami, um, mm -hmm. Um, supporters might know is this is a again this is a, a limited edition subscription print number of there's 15 of them and one of them was donated for um, this year's yes. uh, uh, January gala. But and we showed we showed this happy. work at Christie's and then we auctioned it at our gala at Barusi Art Center very successfully too. So thank you as always. And 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 Anka was so and Jill. From Christie's, they were so great because, well, I'm sure the curation was was um, complicated to do. But as you walk downstairs to to Christie's, there was um, right above, right below, Bafami was was the same thing. It was, was really special. Oh, it's, a it's a great work. It's a great work. So there's a lot of uh, little connections here. I, yeah, I love seeing it. It's, it's seeing um, the catalogs of our Bafami gala through your eyes, basically. It's wonderful. Oh, no, it's so special. So shall we now, shall we move? Yeah, so, so why don't you take us now to Deborah and to the, and the work on the way, and then we can introduce Deborah to all the viewers. We're going well, to the yellow room. Wonderful. <laughs> and we see some fantastic work. I think hopefully as soon as lockdown is over, Cynthia, I'm bringing a busload of supporters to your home. So you can show us everything in life because it's it's too good not to. Oh, I would love that. And and Hi, please Deborah, show us Deborah, the video. How are you? <laughs> very well, Hello, Deborah. Deborah. Right, I love that you are very strictly maintaining your two meters separate. Although you could be, I, I wouldn't mind being in a socially distant bubble with Cynthia. Welcome, Deborah. Um, I'm sure you heard me from the other room, but I wanted to firstly. Thank you. Thank you for being with us and, and doing this wonderful interview. But not only that, thank you for all the support and all your generosity to Bafami over the years. As Cynthia, you know, like Cynthia, you've been coming to all our events, huge smile, such a supporter, meeting the patrons who buy your work and always blindly donating it. So we can't thank you enough, really. It's, it's such a pleasure. Um, well, welcome, um, Deborah. I think a lot of our viewers have been mesmerized by your work. We've been, you know, those who didn't know it have been seeing the fabulous shots of all the all the incredible drawings. But we would love to hear um, a little introduction to your to your career. What was your journey? How you know? It, it's I couldn't believe when Cynthia said it's a thirty five year. Um, retrospective because you must have started very very early but um, perhaps you can you can give us a bit of insight into that journey and how how you got here it, it's literally work 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 it's a lot of painting but, but art gives you a wonderful flexibility in life because you can manage your children your life your home uh, everything that you want to do so it, it's a lot of fun if you love the art, but you have to build up a huge body of work before you can think, okay, okay, I've got something here. So when I thought, okay, I've got, you know, it sort of runs away with itself. But when you think you have something, um, you, it, it's a passion. It's just what makes you happy. You know, I need art to make me happy, and I'm happy painting the art, which needs which first. Oh, and your art, is, and your art makes people happy, Deborah. I hope so. 
I don't know. I, I mean, so. it can but make people happy. I have to say, if I had to be confined in that yellow room full, full of your art, it would be okay. <laughs> And how this imagery started, and and you know, give me. I, I know I know a lot about it, but our viewers know how you started working, and and your relationship with Disney, and your incredible skill, and how that developed into the work that we see around you now. Well, I worked. I was a license holder with Disney, but only for a couple of years. And you know, Disney has a very, very, very high standard. You can't just um, copy a Disney. You have to have their authority. You have to meet their authority. They, they have to see every single piece that you painted. You have to use their colors. It's very exact. but it, it, And it's fun and it's lively. My biggest accomplishment with them really was painting the Christmas display, Mickey's Christmas Carol for Leicester City Council because it was many figures. It was telling the whole story of time to Mickey's Christmas Carol and then seeing it um, the, the real figures cut out in wood being displayed outside Leicester City Council City Hall. But that was a long time ago. That was, li that was literally 35 years ago. Then after that, I just wanted to develop my own things. And I, I can really paint anything, but I liked pop art. You only want to do what makes you happy. So it just developed from there. So I started, then... It eventually, it's, it's so overwhelming, really, because suddenly you realize, well, I've got more here than I can actually handle. You can't keep on handling the clients yourself. So I approached Cynthia, and Cynthia's been doing the job for me ever since, because you can't just be an artist. You have accounting, shipping, you have books. You have it's books, a lot, books. yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I couldn't handle it all. And apart from that, my work's been published for at least 20 years. So the publishing side, if when people see a print, they, they wouldn't necessarily know if it was a man, a woman, a, a, a computer. We didn't have computers then, not in that way. So, it, it, you know, it, it resonated with people. They didn't know my name. And slowly, 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 35 years later, I think they know. <laughs> they they know. They recognize the style. You know, it's something that they think is available to people, which is lovely. And then there's the other end, which is the original painting of limited editions, which you see here, which are handled through Cynthia, and it's a different distribution and allocation. So, Cynthia, um, Deborah, tell us about the process. Before you start a new work, What is where does the idea come from, the imaging? And, and I really need to hear about the titles, because the titles of your work are just fantastic. And they, come, they have so many reference, whether they're from music or movies. So I, I need to hear all about this. Well, the, the titles are just fun. I can, I, um, I don't really know where they come from, but it's just an idea. And sometimes I think, oh, is that title okay? No, that's a bit much. No, that's all right. But it, you have to think very fast. It's very, very fast moving. Um, I have to set a scene. So if it's a girl and a car, I have to find a car and a girl. I just finished a, 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 a painting that I like of um, two people in a bath. But I actually did get them in the bath. They were, they were two people. The um, young lady had modeled for me before the lost earring. I don't know if you're aware of the lost earring. Mm. She hasn't really lost her earring, but it's tied to the lost yeah. earring. And, this, and that was probably about 10, 15 years ago. But in fact, oh, I think... We're well, going there. Yes. It's, um, <laughs> it's not at all about the painting. earring. <laughs> She hasn't really loved her earring, but, but she's got a very nice derriere, I must say. <laughs> she's got a fabulous derriere. And this girl has actually, well, she's now grown with it later. Her and her husband had just modeled for me, but in the bath. And, you know, we could call it Save Water Bath with Neighbor Bath with Friends. That's a really old 70s, you know, caption that we said then. But something, I haven't quite decided on the title, but we, I literally had the bath, had the people, um, and put them in the bath. And I haven't shown Cynthia this painting yet, so I must show her. I love that. I, I want, want to see that, that please. Yeah. Does, the, it, the, the, well, actually, does the, the, the title come sometimes before the painting? You know, it takes, each painting takes about three and a half months. <laughs> and the, I have the pleasure, of, it really, it is, it's a delight. It, it's really quite thrilling, it's immortalizing um these people, it's lovely. I've seen this girl grow, and now she's yeah. getting married. She has her husband at her home. And in fact, I showed them just last night. 
I sat down in my studio and they were both in bed. He's wearing his shorts, she's wearing her pajamas. I said, look, I've finished it, would you like to see? So we did a WhatsApp where I literally showed them the painting and it's, it's wonderful to see their reactions. They could see that it was them. That's great. And we'll see what happens. The whole painting of the journey. The title I haven't really fully decided yet, but I'll decide. It will come. It it. Would you, you like to know these? Yes, I wanted to yeah. discuss with you Love is the Answer Behind You, which is such an incredible, okay. iconic image, obviously, of our well, beloved Amy you. Winehouse. Well, um, and I know there's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of history and and to that paint to that piece. So why, why don't you talk about it a bit? I don't know if you or Cynthia want to. Well, um, uh, after speaking with Janice and Mitch Winehouse and the family were very very giving. We had lots of stories on Amy. I had to come up with my own interpretation. So this is really a painting. It's not exact, you can tell, but it's only to capture the emotion. And it's only the emotion that I felt, it's, it, you know, but I have to be uh, kind to the world, kind to my thoughts, kind to the family. And it's, really, it's true. Art can capture um, many things in an image that words sometimes can't. So that, that's what I was trying to achieve. And, of course, love is the answer. Mm -hmm. We know that. And really, it's taking the icon of the shush painting that is so well known and putting it in the icon of the pop star. The two just made up. In fact, when I thought about it, I thought of many. The whole painting took over a year, and there were many. It's quite special because Janice and Mitch and myself did inside it. And it's, um, I call it a piece. It's a real piece. There we are. That's wonderful. So it's quite special. I felt it was a little bit like, imagine if Marilyn Monroe had signed her Andy Warhol painting, or her parents had been so active and supportive for years. So I think you would then, were your eyes going to the May I Come yes, In? Yes, please. Let's move to May I, I Come In. She's not really saying May I Come In, because she's going anyway. They say no. But she's quite forceful. But she's very polite and ladylike, and she's saying May I Come In. You can see she's beautifully dressed. We don't, you know... There's no more than that. Just on YouTube. And, and something about Brian May? Oh, well, yes. Um, <laughs> she's no, no, I don't want to. Okay, you don't want to. Uh, okay. Um, and is there anything else? Yeah, I think of course. Um, the girl with the diamond ear. Oh, I love so that. This is, this is, do you want to get a bit closer just to show the words? This is the girl with the diamond earring. Um, I've been swept off my feet. I can't think. My heart feels all mushy. And I maybe go a bit black with that. I've stopped the comments so that everybody can see the whole thing. And, and the question diamond in the earring. There's the diamond earring. And the original of, of this piece was the first time that Deborah donated. To Bafani in 2013, uh, also with Christie's doing the the um, uh, the viewing and the auction, and that was at the Brown House yes. in 2013. So this is a little take on the girl with the pearl in the premiere, but it's also when your heart will be bared on your head goes your heart, and there is that moment that we can get the machine. Uh -huh. Normally, it's I'm hungry and what's in the fridge, but this could be over love or with anything. Um, following from that, whatever the great I'm, escape, the great escape of the bring, like the ease of the, the bring, uh, the bring. So the bring is um, nobody gives a man one. Um, wait, Deborah, we are having trouble hearing you. Just maybe speak closer okay. to the phone. Okay, How, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is um, a retro phone, as we probably know. <laughs> Probably the 70s and 80s. I remember distinctly my phone ringing in the lounge and you'd have to turn off the television and everybody would hear your conversation. Um, uh, there's a, a very wonderful comedian called Lynn Ruth Miller and she says uh, a poem that just always makes me laugh. Roses are red, violets are blue. I remember landlines, how about you? <laughs> and I think that this painting depicts it all. It's just the fun. It's just a phone I and it. it's just fun. Next to that, we have guilty pleasure. Um, this is a, a flaky bar of chocolate. 
I think I was actually at a dinner party with a friend. She made a beautiful dinner. I'm right at the end of chocolate placed in the middle of the table. And we're all thinking, should we, shouldn't we? We've had enough. No, okay. And my friend dived in, who's next to me, she ate a chocolate. And I whispered in her ear, bite it. Because you always have this guilt. She said, what? I said, bite it. Yes. And so that's actually, a bit, it's, it's all real people. Um, this beautiful girl, yes. you know, The Great Escape, um, yes, she's she's again, the great yeah, great great escape. Escape. she's again. Uh, she's she's okay. She's cool. Oh. Everyone should have a red dress, let alone a little black dress. And she's happy, and she's um, perched through a window of a silver shadow Rolls Royce, and she's just having a great time. She she she's not really caring too much about anybody else, but she's off. So her life is good. So that's the collection I think in the yellow room. And do you want to talk a tiny bit about the habitat, which is the brain? May I come in? Oh, yes. The big so, bone, which they, they also saw. And then there's two works, obviously. So the yeah. habitat in the flats, they created a <laughs> quite a long time ago. They created a data pack in 2008. a long time ago still. And they, they created a dating pack, which were um, five or six, six months in each part. And they used those images. The data pack, which was Ring, Bing Bong, um, which was my neighbor's doorbell, and may I come in? May I come in? And so it's a, it was a fun, exclusive little pack that they were doing at the time. So you could buy the pack, and the, the, so each image resonated to dating. So love them. It was just a nice little collection. Yeah, it was fun. And then also the secretive and. Um, find it. Secretive. Oh, the secretive is the finger on the lip. Well, yes, of course, but do we have that in the other room? I can't remember. No, 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 that's, that's, in, a, no that's in America. Oh, yes. Um, but it's in the show. It's, it's a little teeny. Everything is a little teeny to smoke or to annoy or just to um, to make you think. Yeah. I have a fun in painting people. You can think of whatever they want no, no. when they're looking at them. It's their interpretation. I think they all, you know, when you look at them, they're just you think they're just a fun work, but then there's so much more depth. They make you think, they make you happy. I think the titles are fantastic, the words below. Um, and I think you probably have a very different audience depending on the country, because I'm sure if you look at it, you think, oh, it's a very young and sexy piece of work. But as Cynthia has told me, it is being collected all over the world and all ages. And it's, it's, it's yeah, one. It's a very big collection. Because of course, any you know, when your work is published, it's it's available um, from bedrooms to library to students to accommodation. There's hotels where they have the shush in every single room. It's, 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 I, I don't even know. Yeah. I, it, it, it's fast. But then to have an original piece or to have a limited edition, it's 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 very special. Um, of course, when I started, I never knew that they would end up being collectors' pieces. This was. This is something else, and it takes a very long time to do. They they, they don't sell like uh, lollipops no. or anything like that. Sadly, it's special. They are. You know? So it's um it's it's just got its own little thing going on now. Wonderful. And um, Deborah, what um I know you're you know doing that wonderful um work you talked about, but what's next? I mean, if this is the last thirty five years, what's 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 ahead for Deborah as a party? <laughs> Uh, just more, uh, just more and more. I mean, it's. Um, I'd like to slow down a little bit. Sometimes I'd like to rest. No, never um, rest. Rest. No rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. No. But I, but I love what I do. So you know that's nice. There might be another book here or there, or more paintings. There's definitely um, more coming through. But it, it takes time. It takes a lot of research, and you have to get it right. And you can't put a knee where a kneecap isn't. Um, you have to, you know, there's a lot to think about, there's a lot to do, but it's the aha moment, it's something that will make me smile or just mean, oh yeah, that's nice, I can roll with that. So it's um, it's truly all of those moments, all of these just moments. Yeah, you can see, you really capture those moments. <laughs> you really capture I them. Mean, I try, I hope so, if somebody else shares my humor. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and some are not serious. Some can also be a little sinister. Yeah, but sure. it's all to um, to live with, to be to be easy with. You know, 
And I know that Cynthia, yeah, Cynthia, you've put together a very extensive catalog of, of all the works that are available that should anyone be interested, obviously they can contact yourself and the gallery and we're happy to put everybody in touch. Um, you very, you both have very generously, uh, we thank you. Um, Cynthia, you came to Israel with us four years ago, I think we went, was it four, four and a half years ago? 2017. 2017, exactly. We've had another trip. And uh, it was your first time in Israel. We're very proud to, to take you among a whole group of patrons. And we traveled high and land the whole country and showed you the magnificent cultural institutions that we support and that you support by, by supporting us. Um, how was, how, what did you think of, of that trip? Well, it, for me, it was it was really a dream come true. I had always wanted to go to Israel, um, and it was it was just so amazing the the beauty and the vibrancy and the diversity. <laughs> that was also very very interesting for me to see how culturally uh, diverse Israel is. And um, you know, obviously being on a trip with, with you and being able to see the institutions you support, that was really incredible. Because obviously the big museums like Tel Aviv, like um, the Israeli Museum, uh, they, they, they have a, a very strong curatorial program internationally. But then to go to some of the smaller museums and to really see the impact that uh, the, the educational program that um, the FAMI does, it, it, it made it kind of like it just it just made it so so clear how the importance of the, of the work um, and then I got to go to the holy you know the, the, the holy center I was in Jerusalem and you know the holy sepulcher and um, yeah it was just a really incredible trip I can't wait to go back you will go back um, and I just yeah I just found it I mean very very positive and very very diverse and, and not what you'd necessarily think. I think when you, when you, unfortunately, you some, sometimes you see the news, but um, the and the, the the kind of impact though that was what really struck me was was being able to see the, the impact of the the donations yeah. in, in in some ways just very very um, basic places, you know, because obviously you're at a gala and it's all very fancy and wonderful art and, and things, but then to go to on the ground and see the, 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 the work, uh, um, yeah. it's really something. Thank you. No, it was, it was, it was really, an, I think, you know, we, we love the institutions with support and we do it because we, we believe so strongly in them, but it's wonderful to see it through someone else's eyes when we're able to bring them and show the impact than the our cultural program in London, our gala, our women in arts, and all, all the work that, thanks to the galleries such as yourselves, the artists such as Deborah, that you, when you donate the work, that we're able to take that and convert it into funding um, our, our programs in Israel, which you witness, puts it all full circle. And I think it's, it's the dream come true, which is why it was so important to come into your gallery, your home. Um, get to know Deborah a bit better, see her fantastic work, which, you know, we need to all get to know better. And I would love if I can see more and more Bufami supporters with some of your work in their walls and um, and get to know your the two of you even better. We can't wait to bring you in person to you. Hopefully this lockdown will soon ease off and we can go back to galleries, to museums. Some of them are opening next week, which is fantastic, in London. In Israel, the two main museums, uh, Tel Aviv uh, Museum has opened. Some of the smaller museums have opened. Jerusalem is opening. So there is light at the end of this tunnel. And I think culture, art, and creativity and will, will bring us all back together sooner, sooner than later. Um, I just... Yes. Can I just say one Please. thing? Um, with the government um, freeing up things next week, so what we're going to do, and I can I can email that to whoever is interested, we are going to allow um, private appointments. Here. Great. So um, so while, while while we're having 
you know, this, this, this lockdown. But once we don't have that, we can actually invite you here. We've got a really big garden. Uh, we can have a glass of wine. Um, Be careful, we're all coming. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Cynthia, Deborah, thank you so much uh, for this, for spending the afternoon with us, for letting us into your home, beautiful home, Cynthia, Deborah, to let us into your world. We love it. We want more. We want to know even more now, which is great. Um, have a wonderful afternoon. And thanks again for all your support, for everything you do for us, for the arts, and for just making all our lives better with your beautiful arts and contributions. Uh, thank you. Um, you are quite amazing. <laughs> and thanks Very to fantastic. all the wonderful viewers who are sending gorgeous, um, gorgeous uh, comments. I can't read them all because then I can't concentrate. But uh, Poyu says uh -huh. hello, our co-chair, and all the members of our committee who are online who say, Cynthia, you're the best.